welcome to Polymer Update TV, the world's first and only TV network with a free petrochemicals news show. It is Thursday, June 20th. I am Indra Singh. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Delhi-based New Blast Machinery. Let's start with energy and feedstock news. Crude futures inched lower on Wednesday on the back of a weaker crude oil demand forecast by the International Energy Agency, IEA, Prices also dropped as China's factory output slackened in May. WTI crude prices declined by 14 cents to finish at $53.76 per barrel, while Brent futures slipped by 32 cents to $61.82 per barrel. According to Vandana Hari of Vanda Insights, crude futures traders in Asia were taking a more bullish view of the market early Thursday than their counterparts in the West where prices settled slightly lower on the day on Wednesday despite several bouts of intraday spikes variously spurred by the U.S. Federal Reserve, Iraq and U.S. oil inventories. Crude's weaker close on Wednesday followed by a rally early Thursday despite there being no new factors to turn sentiment around points to the height of uncertainty prevailing in the market, a predictor of increased price volatility. Open spec NAFTA prices meanwhile gained sharply on Wednesday by 17 US dollars for metric ton to the 482 US dollars for metric ton CFR Far East Asia levels. Propylene prices in Asia dropped on Wednesday. Reports of sufficient product availability and weaker buying sentiments together pulled propylene prices lower in Asia. Various downstream PP demand and pricing trends further supported the price fall. Let's take a look at futures on China Dalian Commodity Exchange for today, on June 20th, 2019. LLDP prices are lower by 5 RMB per metric ton at 7,640 RMB per metric ton. PP rates are down by 6 RMB per metric ton at 8,176 RMB per metric ton. PVC prices remain steady at 6,750 RMB per metric ton. Domestic producers have slashed PP prices by 3 rupees per kg basic with effect from June 20, 2019. PE and PVC prices have been rolled over. In plan news, Zongtiang Heichuang, a joint venture of Sinopec and China Coal Energy Group, is in plans to restart its 350,000 metric ton per year PP plant located at Ordos in Inner Mongolia of China by end June 2019. The plant was shut on June 11, 2019, owing to technical issues. Our special news reel today is sponsored by Delhi-based New Plast Machinery. Established in the year 2009, New Plast Machinery is a manufacturer, exporter and supplier of filler master batch machines, dispersion needle machines, pelletizing lines, plastic extruder machines, etc. That's all for today's Polymer News. Watch your daily news video tomorrow to know more. It is Thursday, June 20th. I am Indra Singh. Thank you. Find us on Facebook at facebook.com slash polymerupdate and be sure to click the like button. You can also find us on Twitter at polymerupdate. For the latest news from the plastics and petrochemicals industry, subscribe to our YouTube channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon. 